Hey guys, welcome to Boris Gaming. I'm John. I'm Chris. And uh, today uh, we'll be doing our fourth of four reviews on the low end graphics cards. And today we've got the uh, Sapphire 7770, 7770, the Radeon series. If you saw the previous video, I accidentally mentioned the 7750 as being the 7770. My mistake again, I'm sorry yeah. about that. So now we'll actually do the 7750, 70, the 7770. Um, so we'll start off with the case again, exactly the same case, 7750, or well, really any of the the Sapphire AMD Radeon series. Beautiful case, I love it. <coughs> All right, and uh, we'll get to the uh, unboxing. <laughs> I'm just gonna find how to open the, the case. The case is different. <laughs> I'll slice the box up too. Beautiful. <laughs> All right. All right, they pack it tightly. <laughs> there we go. All right. So we got your egg carton again. Beautiful little egg carton. All right, we'll get to this stuff first. So we've got again your driver CD. This is, uh, yep, always keep them handy. Quick installation guide. Product registration if you want to do that. I think that's for warranty purposes. Alright, again, you got your DVI to VGA adapter. Here you've got, looks like a uh, DisplayPort to Mini DisplayPort adapter, which is a very nice addition as a standard. Hmm. That's pretty cool. And of course, then you got your additional power cables. You got your 6 pin, it looks like. Yep, small X to 6 pin, by the looks of it. So, nice, <laughs> nice, nice couple of little additions to have in there. I'm only using one Molex to a six pin. I'm guessing it doesn't draw too much power, which you wouldn't expect anyway, because nah. this is a sort of entry level card. But that's pretty good. Now, the card itself. I'm a big fan of the shroud. For a low end card, I don't think you're going to get a much better shroud than that. covers covers the entire PCB in the front end, which is which it, which is nice. I mean, it doesn't need to be there, but it's good to have. So you got your two mini display ports. You got your HDMI and you got your DVI inputs by the looks there. So it looks like it's, uh, it's all in all. definitely capable of running iFinity as well. Um, how many monitors? I'm not sure. The standard's usually three. Would uh, say up, up to three by the looks yeah, of it, I'd say. They've been doing four a lot too. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, true, yeah, sorry. Yeah. But yeah, so obviously this is actually a mini display port to display port adapter, uh, just in case you've got a display port connection. Um, yeah, yeah, pretty much net necessary if you want to get the multi monitor setup going. But um, yeah, it's quite a bit bigger than the other cars that we're doing today. Um, Should we get a comparison yeah, going? Yeah. Right, we'll get this seventy seven fifty back out. All right, so you got your seventy seven fifty there, and well, your seventy seven seventy. So there's a, there's a big size difference between them. Um, it's quite a bit longer. It's about the same height, but. Yeah, again, this this is quite a bit more powerful than the 7750, though. Absolutely. From what I know, we haven't done the benchmarks yet, but we'll get into that anyway. Um, For low end, uh, I think you'll find this being used in a lot of systems. You'll, yeah. get, you'll get a decent performance out of that. Absolutely. It's meant, meant to be very good with DirectX 11 games, so... Anyway. Oh, we'll get under the benchmarks, I yeah. suppose. Yeah, absolutely. Okie dokie, Bosh. Bosh Gaming.
All right, so the results are in for the 7770. Um, price point wise, this card is awesome, really good. It'll play uh, any modern game in high settings, no problem whatsoever. And, and it's not really that much more expensive than the 640 that I did earlier on um, that would have been in the results for this video as well. Um, about a six pack worth of difference. So if you're looking to get a more powerful card, I'd definitely save the money and probably get this because it runs 55 degrees it topped out at, so it's it's pretty cool as well. It does require peripheral power. Um, it's, uh, it's just an extra six pin con uh, connector. Um, but yeah, again, this, this performs just great. Uh, so I don't know what else to say about it really. A definite winner. Um, the entry level 7000 series cards are really, really good. I'm, I'm definitely impressed. Um, and that's it. Thanks for watching. See you later.